Welcome to Hypercar Global, the channel where we take a look at electric vehicles, Tesla and of course Elon Musk. Today we take a look at Tesla's new battery pack and how Tesla saved Australia from a power shortage. Check out the new membership section I have added with awesome benefits, click the join button next to subscribe to find out more. Without any hesitation let's get into the video. Tesla Structural Battery Pack Patent Hints at Clever Contingencies for Crashes, Cell Failures Tesla's next generation of vehicles like the Cybertruck and the Made in Texas Model Y will likely be built with a structural battery pack. Together with the company's 4,680 cells and megacasted parts, Tesla's integrated battery system is expected to improve its vehicle's mass and range significantly. During Battery Day, Elon Musk explained that the use of structural batteries on electric cars could be compared to how passenger aircraft eventually use their wings to store fuel. In the case of airplanes, the weight of the fuel actually provided rigidity to the wing, reducing wing flutter, or the vibrations of the wings due to airflow. Musk noted that a structural battery pack could provide a 10% mass reduction and an opportunity for a 12% range increase for its vehicles. A recently published patent for Tesla's structural battery pack reveals that the EV maker did not only look at cost reduction and range improvements when it was developing its next-generation batteries. Tesla also looked at how the structural battery packs could help maintain if not improve its vehicle's safety. This was hinted at in the patent's detailed description, which reveals that the bottom layer of the structural battery would be created from a strong, stiff material that is also capable of deforming in the event of a crash. Tesla's structural battery pack patent also outlined how parts of the integrated energy system are designed to allow gases to escape from the battery in the event that a cell becomes damaged. Following is the pertinent section from Tesla's structural battery pack patent. Illustratively, an integrated, unitary battery pack may be formed and used as part of the structural support for a vehicle frame. For example, the battery pack may include a bottom layer that is formed from a honeycomb or ridged surface which is mechanically linked to cells within the battery pack. The bottom layer is designed so that it can absorb and distribute impact energy from below, mitigating potential damage sensitive battery materials or breach of the sealed battery pack enclosure. In one embodiment, the bottom layer is made from a material that has sufficient stiffness and strength to support the battery cells and react mechanical loads from normal vehicle operation but also can deform in response to a road strike from below that would otherwise cause failure in the battery pack system. In addition to creating a flexible or crushable structure, the series of ridges can allow gases to escape from the battery pack should damage occur to a particular cell, or in the event of a thermal runaway occurring within one or more cells of the battery pack. Tesla's vehicles are famed for their excellent safety ratings. Built without a heavy internal combustion engine in front, Tesla's EVs feature generous crumple zones that help absorb the impact in a collision. If the EV maker's structural batteries really make its cars more structurally sound, then Tesla could further establish itself as the maker of the safest cars on the road, bar none. Coal plant explosion in Australia shows why Tesla batteries and renewables are the future of energy. A Tesla power pack recently stepped in to save the day when a coal-fired plant at the Clyde Power Station in Queensland, Australia, exploded. Teslarati reported that the explosion resulted in mass power outages from the border of New South Wales to Cairns, with over 470,000 customers affected. The explosion also caused a cascading impact on the Queensland grid. After the ensuing chaos, the Hornsdale Power Reserve, a Tesla power pack system in South Australia, stepped in. The reserve was recently expanded to 150 megawatts 194 megawatt hours. Teslarati noted that the ginormous battery was able to immediately respond to the widespread power interruptions and took a quick dive into some of the battery's new tools. These tools include the capability to provide synthetic inertia, which allows the battery to help slow down the rate of frequency changes that happen as a result of dramatic events, such as a coal plant explosion knocking out electricity over a wide area. Renew Economy reported that the Hornsdale Power Reserve responded instantaneously as the frequency in the grid dropped to a low of 49.6 Hz before rising up to 50.1 Hz as the load was lost. The battery was able to do this in just 2 seconds. Think about this for a moment dash it took 2 seconds for a Tesla power pack to respond to a national crisis. We need more of these around the world. The Hornsdale Power Reserve is owned by Neon 
a French renewable company. This shows that the virtual inertia mode hopes to catch these things even earlier, Nian's head of development, Garth Heron, said. This is the future. At a webinar hosted by the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, Beruz Barani from Monash University spoke on the topic of grid forming inverters, and where the Hornsdale results were prevented, noting that it was clear that battery storage can provide inertia and system strength. He pointed out that grid operators needed to think beyond old parameters. We need to go beyond synchronous generators, he said. We need to think what else the batteries can do and not just focus on mimicking synchronous generators. Heron said that it was clear from the tests at the Hornsdale battery that inverter-based technologies can deliver the same inertia responses as synchronous machines that are twice their size. The article noted that he reinforced the fact that battery storage has several layers of skills and services. Some of these are not recognized by the market yet, but the trick is to get a control system that delivers the right response from the battery under all situations. Joseph Tadich, senior manager of engineering at Tesla, hosted the webinar and said that batteries can be customized for specific network conditions. This particular response was provided in parallel with traditional primary frequency control, energy market dispatch, and black start services. In a LinkedIn post, Tadich wrote, We have been hard at work over the last few months to implement virtual machine mode, VMM, at the 150 megawatts Hornsdale Power Reserve. The silver lining of the recent Collide Generator contingency event provided a useful dataset to assess the real-life response of our inverters, a rate of change of frequency, rho cof, of around 0.2 Hz per second in decline and frequency nadir of close to 49.6 Hz. As Giles Parkinson was quick to point out in the data, VMM mimics the response of a synchronous generator and provides an inertial response resisting the change in Rokoff, injecting power during the decline of frequency to minimize the nadir and stabilize the transition to primary frequency control recovery to the normal operating frequency band, NOFB. VMM also provides a voltage smoothing function to resist change in the underlying voltage waveform, effectively providing a source of system strength. The great thing about batteries is that these inertial parameters can be customized for specific network conditions, and this response is provided in parallel with traditional primary frequency control, energy market dispatch, and black start services. This is a key issue the industry is working on as the market displaces traditional thermal synchronous generation and accelerates the transition to higher renewable penetration. Not only does this prove that batteries such as the Tesla power pack can save the day when it comes to the failures of the fossil fuel industry, but it proves that batteries are indeed the future of energy. The Economic Times recently reported that battery storage is cheaper than new coal power and noted that a new economic viability analysis showed that renewable energy along with battery storage in Tamil Nadu is cost competitive with new coal power plants. Do you think more countries will use batteries as backup in their change towards renewable energy? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and if you are new to the channel why not subscribe? Turning on bell notifications will alert you when I upload so you'll never miss any more Tesla news.